Hello guys, this is Adam and this is the MacBook Pro M5. We are going to unbox it and we're gonna test a blender and we're gonna test a lot of other stuff. So this is going to be a wonderful week for us to test this machine. So this is the machine right here. So we're looking at the M5 chip with 16 gigabyte of RAM and 512 storage. And this is the 14 inch and we're gonna, Ooh, here we go. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. Fancy as ever, fancy as ever, ever, ever fancy. We're gonna go ahead and open the box. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Oh, yeah, 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 that's so nice. This is the main event right here, which is basically the Mac. We're gonna put that to the side a little bit. Ooh, fancy, fancy. This is the Mac safe right here. And what we are looking at is a black Mac safe overall. Very fancy. This is gonna go back to where it belongs because I do have a cable to charge. And here, Apple brochure stuff, which says right here, designed by Abilu Kalili Fururunia. And here is actually your 70 watt charger as well which you can plug the cable in plug it into here and then charge it so there you go. and then this is gonna be done now into the main event okay it, uh, it got some weight to it i will say that yo the color mm. this is the space gray or may black this wow this feels black i have never seen the black one before which i believe it's called the space gray is that the space gray this is the space black so here is the 14 inch in its glory with the space black color beautiful go ahead and open the machine and start setting it up and let's see i ooh, okay Yep, the Apple music as usual, the Apple music, the Apple tone that we are used to. Holy bananas, this is beautiful. Look at that. Hello, hello, hello. So the trackpad is working. Continue on, and then we're going to choose English, and then we're going to choose United States, and then from a Mac, no, set up as a new. So can I continue without connecting to the internet? At least with this one, you can simply go in and set it up without connecting to the internet while that is not the case with something such as the HP Omen that I did a review for recently. With Windows, you have to set up an account. Now there is definitely a way to bypass it. So, and here we go. Now this Mac is ready to be tested. So the first thing that I want to do is actually connect MX Master Mouse. So we're going to go ahead and type Bluetooth. It's connected. So we are good on. I want to do a quick test for uh, the keyboard to see if that's something that we can work with. Is it good? Is it bad? We will see. So this is a quick test for the keyboard by Adam and I want to see if this keyboard feels nice or not. I will say that the keyboard feeling is not the best and maybe because I have tried something better recently. I don't like the feeling of the keyboard. I think the buttons are too mushy for my taste, but me trying the keyboard from HP Omni Book recently, 5, which had a Snap a Dragon X Plus, that keyboard was excellent to say the least. So we have done all the updates that we can and downloaded the blender and also do have it plugged in and as you can see it's plugged into the power right here with a charger. So we'll go to the preferences and then we will go to the system. First we're gonna test the Apple M5 GPU, the 10 cores. After that we will choose uh, only the Apple M5, the CPU, and we will do a test with that as well. And then we will choose them both and then we will see. Keep in mind, the first run that we will do will be a kernel build, which means it should take more. It should, and after that, the second run and onwards should give us a consistent time. So we'll go ahead and then render image and then we will see how long that would take. 
So that is the first run and the first run only took 50 seconds. It's decent. It's better than the Omnibook MX, uh, Omnibook 5, which had the Snapdragon X Plus. It's definitely better than that as the other one took about 1 minute and 31 seconds. However, that is the first run, which is the kernel build, so it will take a long time. The second one should take a shorter amount of time, so let's go ahead and render right away. And yes, I did restart the device after installing a blender and all of that. Wow! Wow! What? <laughs> 16 seconds yo that's insane close to my 3070 ti on the razor blade which you can actually see there in the back the razor blade took about 19 seconds with a 3070 ti 64 gigabyte of ram using the gpu this one only took 16 seconds maybe this is a fluke let's let's try that again because 16 seconds is insanely good because a 3050 with six gigabyte for example from the victus hp which there is a review for it on the channel only took 30 seconds so this is actually fast wow it's 16 seconds okay wow that is that is insane m4 if i remember correctly it only took with the macbook air m4 it only took 20 seconds or 21 seconds so we went from 20 seconds to about 16 seconds that's honestly a good jump edit and then we're gonna go to preferences and from here we're gonna turn off the gpu and only we will do the cpu and then we will see when we are under with the cpu how long that would take and then um, um, uh, let's see how that would play out. Now, again, the first render usually is the kernel for that. So maybe the time would be longer. And then after that, from the second run and onward, we can definitely take that into consideration and see. So let's go ahead and give it the time that it needs. So it took 44 seconds with the CPU only. Let's go ahead and then render the image again. And then let's see if we render it this time. Is it going to take 44 seconds as well? Or is it going to be better? Okay, so it's done and it's 44 seconds as well. I'm going to go ahead and do it one more time. And if it takes again 44 seconds, then in this case, your best case scenario would be actually to use GPU going forward. Okay, this is the third time and we got 44 seconds as well. Now I am seeing if the machine is warm at all. No, it's fine. So we're going to go ahead to preferences again. We're going to choose metal. We're going to choose them both and then do our own with. Okay, so this is over and it only took 25 seconds. That's like in the middle. It's not 16 and it's not 44. Go ahead and run it again and then see if that's going to give us something different. Took it 24 seconds, which is very similar to the time that we got a second ago. And I don't think there is any difference when you use them both you get that i have not talked about the display just yet the display is decent but again me being spoiled with the omni book 5 after that display it's really hard to look at this display and say oh this display is mind-blowing like it's really nice and i get it but the omni book has a display that is just eye-watering it's something else completely so this is the fox scene or the fox splash and it's opening right now and then in terms of the render engine we have EV so I'm gonna change that to cycles and then from the cycles we're gonna do GPU compute and then from here we're gonna go to preferences and then with preferences we are making sure that we have the Apple M5 GPU the 10 core and then from here we're just gonna go ahead and render so this is the first render which is usually rendering the kernel and that took 45 seconds so after the 45 seconds we're gonna go ahead and render again okay and that's the second build and it took only 44 seconds so that's very close to the first run that we had i'm gonna run it one more time and let's see if we're gonna get a symbol or number Okay, so this is the third run and we have 44 seconds and as it seems, it built the kernel from the very first time and the time that we are getting is 44 seconds for this one. So you can compare it against what you have and decide whether that is good or bad. And now we have a render time of 20 seconds. However, this time the engine was actually EV as you can see here instead of using cycle. So I'm gonna go ahead and render it one more time. So the second run took only 11 seconds, which is really good 
good and that's in comparison to the first run which i believe it needed to build the corner so 11 seconds is really good and this will be the final render and we will see if we're gonna get something in the realm of 11 seconds again or not and if we do that means this is the new standard but again keep in mind i am using even here for whatever that's worth and with that we got another 11 seconds right here so with eevee you get 11 seconds at least with the fox splash uh, project my first impressions of the machine is a good machine the build quality is a great as ever and the space of black is a really nice color the display is decent the keyboard i did not like it as much and in terms of the performance honestly it's an excellent machine at least when it comes to blender however we will be testing zbrush we will be testing maya and we will be testing even connecting it to a huion tablet and then seeing how the performance that would be so keep an eye on those videos that they will be coming very soon but in terms of a blender this is the basic that we have and this is my first impression of the m5 macbook pro a black with 16 gigabyte of ram and then 512 gigabyte of storage with the m5 chip as i said you guys have a wonderful night and i will see you tomorrow with another test